everyone, it's Montana Rock Mom, and you know what time it is. It's time to feed Drogon my 18-inch slab saw, so come along. Don't be afraid. Okay, I really want to cut this one um, kind of along, not not this way because that's going to be mostly cords. Um, I want to cut it this way because I see a cool pattern here, some banding and some inclusions in there. So I really want to cut it across this way. So. Oh yeah, that's, that was a nice cut. Let's look at some of these slabs. That nice, oh, I love when a Montana agate has an orange center like that. Just even see the banding on there around the center. Probably even has some iris in there. That's just gorgeous. Okay, here is another Montana agate, and it is a waterline agate. It's got some lines in here. But I actually want to cut the top off here and cut it this way because I don't want to get the water lines. I want to try to get a pattern on top of a water line. So I'm going to have to kind of do some thin cuts. We'll see. So what I've realized or just realized is that I wasn't cutting, look how crooked I was on the water line here. My angle was totally wrong, should have been on the black and white arrows. I wanted to cut, <laughs> I don't know how I ended up at such an angle. I wanted to cut flat across on the water line, but <laughs> yeah, so I... Yeah, I don't know what I was doing there. I mean, it still might be pretty when I get it once polished up, but it's not really what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab another waterline agate and see if I can show you better what I'm trying to do. Okay, so here's another waterline and I am trying to cut it flat across so I won't I don't want to get the dent the the layers I want to get possibly some a dendritic Montana agate pattern that's laying on the top so let's try this again okay I'm I'm getting closer as I keep going and you can see that my cut is parallel to the water lines like I wanted it. But as I keep going, this gets a lot more beautiful. You can see it's kind of like an abstract painting. I'll have to glue it onto wood, onto some wood to keep going, but oh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm really excited to cut this piece because it looks like a really brickated, brickated jasper. So, looks like lots of jasper with some chalcedony running through there, or maybe there's some banded agate. I'm, not sure yet, but I want to cut this side, this front off, so I want to cut it 
across because I want to get the pieces of the jasper kind of floating in that agate like it looks on the outside but just much, much smoother so let's see Look how beautiful that is. Oh, let's get the flashlight. Ah, oh, look at that. So nice. So nice. And I can, I'm starting to see all the banding going on. It's very clear, but some agate banding going on in there. Nice. But yes, I will glue this onto some wood so I can make a bunch of cuts from it because it's awesome. All right, it is time for what the heck, because I have no idea what this rock is. Check it out. I want to figure out what this is. So I'm gonna put it under the microscope and take some photos, and then I'm also gonna cut it, and then put it under the microscope. See if we can get on it any ideas if you have any ideas please leave them in the comments all right so I cut the top off of this let's look at some photos under the microscope See if anyone could tell what it is. I've kind of been addicted to eyes lately and I can tell this has some eyes oh yeah so I'm gonna be cutting it across here because I'm hoping this pattern goes down deep in there I want the eyes so yeah, I'm excited Okay, so I like it. I see some eyes in there. It's got a bunch of kind of earthy colors, but I think I might try cut it, cutting it sideways and see if I get kind of a little bit more, a little bit more of the eyes I'm looking for. Really? not seeing as many eyes as I wanted to. You can see a little bit there. But I was a little bit disappointed in this one. I thought it'd be a little bit more dramatic, I guess, and it's just kinda kind of faded. You can see that I'm, those are banding and eyes in there, but it would have been super awesome if they were just a little bit more pronounced. But that's okay.
I actually like these last two slabs. They've got a little bit more character and a little bit more color. Look at that. And a little bit more eyes. Much better. Well, that side's kind of blah, but that side's all right. All right, so my favorite one out of that, out of that slab, out of that rock was that one. Cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish this cutting day off with this outstanding piece of petrified wood and I really hope it is as gorgeous on the inside as it is on the outside. I'm going to cut it on the sides because look at that, as you can see, the wavy lines in there along with the like yellow and white dots. Oh, it's going to be a fun one. <laughs> All right, let's feed it to Drogon. Oh, these are all gorgeous. Every one of these. The dots, the wavy lines. Both sides of each one, they're all great. Look at that. Some color in there. A great pattern on here. All right. Well, thank you guys for coming along. This is another great Drogon feast. Rock on.